so after every one of you have, uh, thank you. And after every one of you have introduced himself. So we we'll start to, to give a brief introduction of the topics of the course. How is the way of assessment? Um, what the task that you need to do and everything else. So basically the systems biology course, uh, uh, we want to, to uh, highlight the ex uh, um, experiments and the protocols you do for experimental research, understand the on the molecular and views of the, uh, re the relation of the protocols to the uh, molecular and views of the biological functions. As well, the course will cover mainly the methods that can measure the properties of large number of biomolecules in cells, tissues, and the whole organisms. For the ways of assessment, so we have uh, it's divided into four categories. Uh, of course, will be a midterm on week eight. So now we are in week one, week one, and this is around twenty percent, uh, actually twenty percent. And then we have the presentations for uh, topics. Uh, student presentations, it's, it will go through the semester, uh, depending on the schedule, from starting from week uh, three or four, and it waits around 20 uh, as well, 20%. And then we have the papers presentation by the end of the term at week 11 to, till 14. And this actually, after we understand most of the protocols, uh, the students will be grouped to do presentation of paper of their choice to make um, to understand how these uh, protocols can put into action to produce a research article. And this way it's 20% uh, as well. And then we have the final exam, which around which is 40%. And, uh, and basically in the final exam, uh, you have, uh, it will be the, in the form of uh, discussing paper, uh, writing an abstract for a paper, uh, trying to understand paper, it's a, it's a different kind of assessment, but it will equip the PhD student to uh, the future, uh, his future research uh, career. So for presentation, either the paper presentation for the paper presentation or the student's topic uh, presentation, you need to follow this uh, guide, uh, this template, because it has a way from the mark. So the first slide usually have a BU University uh, logo, uh, then the title of your talk, the course name and code, and submit it to, my, to Dr. Mahmoud Khalil, your, your name and your ID. The second slide will be the objective of the uh, talk. And then the, for the subsequent slides, it needs to stick to the heading or the title should be uh, uh, at that size and bold, as well as the body text line spacing. And you need to have a white background throughout your presentation. Before the last slide, you need to set a conclusion, and then in the last slide, you state a reference. So, for the topics of the uh, uh, of the course, we have first the topics of, for the nucleic acid identification. So, uh, this will be subdivided into purification and quantification of DNA and RNA, microsatellite analysis, Southern blotting, Northern blotting, PCR. QPCR, multiplex PCR. Then we have the whole transcriptome amplification, DNA footprinting, two-step and one-step RT-PCR, Sanger sequencing, next generation sequencing, NGS. And then we have multiplex ligation dependent probe amplification, single nucleotide polymorphism genotyping, comparative genome hybridization studies, molecular cloning, DNA microarrays, DNA methylation analysis by sulfide conversion and by restriction enzymes to different methods for DNA methylation analysis. So these are the techniques for nucleic acid identification. This is actually the topics that, uh, uh, some of the topics with, together with the other topics that will be divided on you to do the presentations. Then we have the techniques for protein identification. We have, uh, we, uh, we need to understand how the quantifying of protein using the Bradford assay, another method, the Western blotting, the ELISA as well, the used to, used to two hybrid assay to quantify the protein. And then we have the uh, visualization of protein in SDS page, gels, protein microarrays, 
then we have uh, we need to understand how protein recombinant protein are expressed and detected and purified from bacteria dot plots colony plots for the last technique it's the techniques for nucleic acid protein interaction and actually these will be my topics of lecture so we don't need to do a presentation in these two topics it including the chip or chromatin immunoprecipitation as well as the in vivo analysis of epigenetic dna protein interactions so actually these are 18 topics two of them will be my responsibility to do presentations and lectures about these and and, and this will go through the uh, following three or four uh, lectures then for after the three or four lectures we'll do we'll start doing the presentations of your presentations of the uh, topics the 16 topics so to summarize uh, the uh, to summarize what you need to do, you need actually to do two, two kinds of presentation. In the first one, it is the student topics presentation. So you have 16 topic will be divided equally among, among yourself. You can see that a topic can be divided on two or three students based on the topic. The student will present in the order of the topics from one to 16. The student must provide, you, know, you need to arrange yourself and you must provide uh, upfront a list of the sequence of the presentations and students should do the presentation actually uh, we, you will do it in front of others and you need to submit a, a ppt file uh, uh, or a powerpoint file for that presentation for the paper presentation students will be divided equally to present five research articles so i need you to choose a five research article and all of the students will divide in groups uh, you need to decide that to uh, in order to choose a five uh, research article and do presentation. The pre presentation should be uh, concise and follow the following sequence. You have, of course, the, uh, the um, initial uh, page, which contain the logo and the name, the idea, uh, etc. And then you will go through the title title page, you can take a snapshot of the title page of the paper that contain the title, the author, the journal that is published, that published the article. And then you have the slide for the aim, major aim of the, um, of the paper and the specific aims. And then for the results, you only need to have the figure only on the slide and you will start to describe the figure to the audience. And we don't need, we don't need to have, we, we don't need to have a busy slides, okay? So only figures. And the, the way you will present the figure, um, uh, actually it's important for, your as, for the assessment. And then you have a summary slide and then you have a conclusion slide, okay? You, know, you need to, make, to, to take in mind that it is the student responsibility to divide the 16 topics among yourselves. And it's your responsibility after understanding most of the protocol, it's your responsibility as well to choose papers to present. As I said, again, you will be divided into five groups because uh, five paper I need to be uh, presented, okay? And uh, this concludes our uh, intro lecture for the course and uh, see you next week.